Alright, so just a quick little video today. Um, last night I tried updating the firmware on my HeWing T1. Um, but it ended up taking over an hour to do, and that's because I couldn't get the flight controller to go into DFU mode, which is the mode you need to be able to update the firmware. Um, every time I tried to do it, I ended up seeing this weird little warning message here. USB device not recognized. And uh, up here, it doesn't say DFU mode. So yeah, I wasn't able to flash the firmware for a really long time, which was obviously really frustrating. Um, now, obviously I did try doing all of the usual troubleshooting techniques. I tried using a different USB cable. I tried using a different USB port on my computer. I tried using Impulse RC driver fixer. And I also tried using the CLI on INAV to force DFU mode, but annoyingly, none of those techniques would work, which was obviously very, very frustrating. Um, now, I did eventually manage to find a solution with the help of Google. But I just want to mention that quite randomly this morning, Painless360 actually did a video talking about this exact same problem. Um, but the reason why I decided to do a video is because the solution that he came up with isn't quite right. So what he suggests is that if you can't get the flight controller to go into DFU mode, what you need to do is you need to disconnect absolutely everything that you've got connected to it, um, after which you should then be able to get it into DFU mode with no problem. And um, he's not wrong, that will work. However, you don't actually need to do that, um, at least not fully. The actual solution, um, I found this on the Matec website, although I don't think that this solution is exclusive to Matec flight controllers. It'll probably work with all flight controllers. Um, it's written down here in blue, and uh, basically it says if you've got a flight controller running an F4, an F7, or a H7 chip on it, if you happen to have anything connected to either UART1 or UART3, that is what's stopping the flight controller from going into DFU mode. Um, I don't claim to understand why that would be the case, but you know it's written here, that is the problem. Um, so the solution is that if you've got anything plugged into either UART1 or UART3, such as like a GPS or a receiver or something, just temporarily disconnect it from the flight controller and you'll be able to get into DFU mode with no problem. Um, and that absolutely is the case for me. So I've actually got my GPS unit here connected to UART3. So all I had to do was just temporarily unplug it like that. After which I was able to grab the little USB gizmo here, um, press the boot button whilst connecting the USB cable. And uh, true enough, it then went into DFU mode like normal and I was able to update the firmware. Um, so yeah, that is the solution. So you don't need to go disconnecting absolutely everything from the flight controller like Painless360 says. You just need to disconnect whatever you've got connected to either UART1 or UART3. After which you should be able to flash the firmware like normal. It's weird because I've never seen this problem before, although apparently it's been an issue for a couple of years now. Um, when I was uh, Googling for a solution, I actually found a video by Joshua Barbwell back at the beginning of 2021 talking about this. Um, so it's certainly not a new issue, yet I've never seen this problem before. Um, I've had this aircraft for about a year and a half now, and um, I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed any of the hardware, well, other than the video transmitter. I haven't changed anything else. Uh, the GPS has always been connected to UART3. And I've updated the firmware on this aircraft several times over the last year and a half, and not once I've had this problem until last night. So that's really random. I don't know why that would be the case. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you find that you're having a problem where you cannot get the flight controller to go into DFU mode and you can't flash the firmware, that's what you need to try. Just uh, if you've got something connected to UART3 or UART1, just disconnect it and uh, hopefully you'll be able to flash the firmware as normal. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, video useful. I've um, basically run out of things to talk about now. <laughs> so uh, I will bid you farewell and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.